Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do a little bit different of a video than our normal stuff. We're gonna cover the new update that just dropped about four hours ago, 12.1.1. We have a lot of spicy changes in here. Um, some hatchling nerfs, we have some secure container nerfs. So let's just get into it and talk about what all they changed. So right off the bat, they throw a pretty big curveball at us. While leveling skills, the character will now have exhaustion of skill per raid. This means that the skill will be leveled more slowly during the raid after every repeat. If you do not level a certain skill for a while, a few minutes, the character will recover and will be able to skill with normal speed again. This change is directed uh, at skills abuse targeted and consecutive leveling of the same skill. This is probably in direct response to the leveling of stress resistance on fire. Um, with that method, I think within a day, you can max out that skill, go from zero to 51. That's probably the cheesiest any skill gain skill leveling has ever been. So I can see them implementing uh, this in response to that specifically. I don't, I don't know yet, and we're not gonna know yet until we see in raid how it really works. I think this is going to limit skill gain with like uh fire and and super cheese methods i don't think this is gonna i don't know target uh sniper leveling or anything like that like i don't think you're gonna exhaust your sniper leveling skill in raid by just reloading or shooting things consecutively i don't think they're gonna punish you for shooting multiple targets in a raid next uh skills now have a maximum level that cannot be overcome even with stimulants 60. so i don't really understand this one i don't know if there was some cheesing going on with stimulants and if you could get your skill above 51 up to 60 somehow i don't know if that this is what this is referring to but now you can't do it so if you were familiar with that method and it was working for you now it's not going to work now secured containers can no longer be discarded during a raid okay so a couple of things here what we need to do is go into a quick offline factory because i want to show you guys how this actually is going to work now because it's kind of mind-blowing all right so we're in a raid let me show you guys what's going on here cannot discard the secure container in a raid so we can't go into a raid and then just drop drop our container for a teammate or you know a viewer in the case of a lot of streamers who will give away secure containers we can't do that we can't move it into the backpack I can't I can't move items in raid as soon as we get out of here I'll show you guys that you can't put them in the backpack either right so that method's not going to work something we're going to get to here in a minute optics like reaps flurs that's not going into gamma some some things like the valde will still go in mvgs not going in we can't do the pocket reap we can't do the pocket mvgs nothing like that that's gone right now as of now that is just out of the game can't even you know don't even think about it okay in here i'm going to show you guys uh that you can't put the secure container in the backpack either right uh secure container there you go item is incompatible won't go in backpacks either so we can't discard it in a raid we can't move it into a backpack and then drop the backpack and also trading on a flea market okay you can't you can't request a secure container anymore alpha beta epsilon gamma you cannot request them so as of now secure container trading giving them away what what have you not in the game can't do it there's no workaround that we know of at this time there's nothing that you can do to trade your secure container anymore secure containers can no longer be discarded during raid check verified secure containers can no longer be put inside other containers like backpacks it can only be put in the slot of the secured container of the character verified if you've had your secure container inside another container, it will return through in-game message system after the update. I hope that's true. I really hope that's true. Uh, Cause if you had your gamma in your backpack for some odd reason before you got off last night and you get on today and you can't find your gamma and it's gone. Well, uh, that's kind of scary. Special optic devices, helmets, helmet mounts can no longer be placed in secure containers. If you've had your devices in, same thing as before, they'll get returned to you with the in-game, you know, insurance system. Again, kind of scary. No more, uh, no more pocket reaps, no more pocket MVGs added a limit on the amount of money that you can carry in the inventory of the character. No such limits in stash. 150,000 rubles, 1,000 dollars, 1,000 euros. Limits can be changed for balancing purposes. I can already tell you that we need to up the limit on at least the euros because you can find at this time if it's still in the game, 1,000 euros on scavs and raiders. You can find a stack of 1,000 euros on them. So as soon as you find that amount of euros on a body and you put it on you, to, on your person, with this, you can't pick up any more euros, even if you find a couple of stacks laying around. So already right off the bat, that's just 
uh, too hard of a limit i don't really get that either um i guess it has this this must have to do with dropping money for people actually yeah now that i think about it this is exactly what that's for so this is a real hard limit on the transfer of money i don't know if that was necessary i don't really think that was killing the game in any way if anything you're transferring money to people so they can experience the game you know like newer players i'll often you know give them money so they can get a head start and see what the game's like with armor using big armor big guns you know just get a feel for it so they can practice i i really don't think it was hurting anybody but uh, i guess bsg felt otherwise if your character died without an equipped firearm any kind of then after the raid he will recover only one percent of health not 30 percent this is a direct hatchling nerf what they're saying is uh if you die without any kind of weapon on you you're gonna go back to one percent health instead of 30 when you get out of there in my mind this isn't that big i know some people are going to see this as as a big deal if you're running as a hatchling you're probably profiting almost every run because you can't the only way you can go in the negative is if you don't make enough money to cover the cost of your healing now I want to say that as of now, it takes, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15,000 rubles to completely heal from 30%. So I guess if you go down to 1%, let's say 20,000 rubles to heal every time, basically you're going to have the bare minimum that you need to be alive, but you, you run the wrong way. You uh, twist your ankle, you're dead. I mean, that's it. With that amount of health, you'll, you'll die to anything. A barbed wire, one, one hit, one bit of fall damage. Like it's going to be risky. It's going to be way too close. So it's really the price of healing isn't going to go up that much. It's just going to force you to spend the money to do so. Because as, as of right now, I'm assuming some hatchlings don't heal after every raid because they don't really have to. They can go in with half health and be, you know, fine with one percent of health is a little bit different you know it's a little bit different of a story that is a, a lot riskier so i think it's going to force people to heal more i don't think it's going to cost them that much more i don't think it's really going to prevent hatchling running at all like i don't think this is going to prevent this in my opinion um it is going to force them to spend some money every raid though more on the health nerf if you left the raid prematurely through disconnect then in the main menu you will recover only one percent of health not 30 so same thing if you disconnect you'll get the penalty good you should never disconnect that's kind of ridiculous if you enter the raid in a group and you were killed by a member of your group then in the main menu you will recover only one percent of health not 30. so if little jimmy accidentally shoots you dead you're gonna get penalized why i have no idea i really don't but whatever i don't typically get team killed i don't recommend people get team killed if you kill yourself in a raid then in the main menu you will recover only one percent of health not 30. so to combat disconnecting right a lot of people would just grenade themselves or something or run on barbed wire take fall damage to, to die and go back to the menu you'll get penalized for that too whatever in my mind it is what it is it's just more health nerf i don't tend to kill myself in raid often so not really a big deal optimizations various game optimizations locations rendering cool we always love to hear that that's one thing we can never get enough of specifics we have no idea locations rendering awesome you know a lot of times in game i'll see things pop up you know bushes distantly buildings render in it's quite distracting because in this game any movement big or small is how i notice enemies so when i see buildings and bushes pop up and in and out it it throws me off so cool optimizations great added options in traders menu for the flea market search okay i'm not sure exactly how that works so i kind of want to test that out Oh, is that what it is? The filter by item? It must be this uh, when you right click on stuff in here. The filter linked and required. I'm assuming is what they added. Added hideout menu options for flea market search. Not quite sure what that is exactly, but sounds good. Added a new music track to the main menu. Awesome. Can we choose between the new and the old? Because the old is most definitely a classic. Uh, hideout volume, music volume, music on raid end, uh, main menu background not really seeing that so cool change is good corrected fixed one of the bugs causing endless treatment animation that cannot be canceled if this is what i'm thinking it is it might not be but if this is the healing bug animation where it won't heal right you can't heal yourself after a certain bug that occurs it'll just get stuck at the end of the animation and won't ever continue and finish out uh if this is fixed that's amazing that is a big big fix because that was a serious bug that almost guaranteed that you would die 
and in this game, a bug that guarantees your death is really bad. Fix the bug which caused FPS drop if optics and canted sight were equipped. That also is huge if it's what I'm thinking of. A lot of optics in this game cause uh, frame drops. You know, the Valde is a fantastic sight, but whenever you use it, you get some serious frame drops. So if this is fixing that, perfect. Fix the bug with no sound of falling ammo casing. Hadn't experienced that one. Don't really think that affected me. I know there's some grenades that weren't making any sounds, and that one is a little more important to me. I don't know if I need to hear the bullet hitting the ground. Um, I'm sorry, the ammo casing, not even the bullet impact, but the casing hitting the ground. Um, but okay, awesome, we fixed it. Fix the bug with refilling empty fuel tanks by joining a raid. Another cheese method out the window. We were, uh, well not we, some people were bringing in empty fuel tanks. If you didn't know about this, uh, you could bring in an empty fuel tank and do a raid, get out with it, and it would refill fill how i have no idea but that's what people were doing fix the bug with the inability of the scav to extract the raid after reconnect i never disconnected as a scav i, I didn't know that was a bug but that's also huge because that is uh something that would cause you your scav run to be completely null and void so we fixed that awesome fix bug with displaying stationary weapons ags if you reconnect while loading it i don't even use the stationary weapons but i'm glad we fixed this bug you know fixes are good Fix the bug where when saving a weapon preset, PM, the name of this preset is assigned to all disassembled weapons. There you go. Fix the bug where flea market filters were not reset after searching for weapon parts. Good, that was annoying. Fix the bug where required parts for weapon preset were not displayed. Awesome. Fix the bug where the image and optics disappeared after reconnect. That didn't happen to me either, but that sounds terribly annoying. Fix the bug where some settings were not saved. Cool. Fixed a weapon preset bug where it was impossible to buy parts of a weapon build if one item from build was not available. This is also huge. This one personally really bugged me. And there's more on this here in a second too. But basically, there was a lot of stuff in the weapons presets that was annoying. A lot of ways for you not to be able to quickly and easily build your weapon. There was a lot of things that prohibited that. So they're trying to fix that. Fix the flea market bug where the search for related items was not reset. Now the transition to windowed mode and back via alt enter works correctly. Fix the bug and weapon presets that prevented you from removing the check mark from missing part. Oh my god. I can't tell you how many times I tried to build a weapon with the preset. There was one thing that was sold out and it had no box next to it that I could check and uncheck. Everything that was available to buy, I could check and uncheck like, oh, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. But the one thing that was unavailable had no option to take it off. So you couldn't just hit buy all, right? You had to individually purchase everything that was available instead of just telling the game, hey, this one thing that doesn't exist, take it out. So awesome, huge, I love it. Fix the bug where a third person character would be stuck in the same position if not throwing a grenade after pulling the pin. Didn't happen to me, wasn't familiar with it. Fix the bug in a weapon preset interface where the inscription, you have all the necessary parts for this preset, appeared in an empty window. Cool, more weapon preset fixes, great. Fix some issues that would cause the grass to turn blue. No more blue grass. Um, this one happened to me a lot. It was kind of annoying. I'm glad it's gone. Various minor fixes, whatever that means. Various minor visual fixes. Fixed various in-game bugs. Increased stability of game servers. That's good. We love that. Changed. Now grenades, hand grenades, and AGS rounds do not cause damage through walls or through the ground. I was playing with my good buddy Josh Posh the other day. We were under reserve a couple floors down in the tunnels, and he got killed by a stationary weapon how i don't know but essentially the explosion went through a couple levels of ground i am glad that supposedly won't happen anymore good now you can fold the stock of the weapon by clicking the middle mouse button on it interesting now the dot of the laser sight has become brighter a lot of people were complaining this patch that the uh, lasers were too dim so good for them i don't recommend you use a laser but if you enjoy them now they might be back to their former glory now when buying items on the market, now when buying items on the merchant screen, the list of items is not scrolled to the top after the deal. Holy crap. I can't tell you how many times I went to Ragman specifically to buy a loadout, scrolled all the way down to buy the one piece of armor that I needed, whatever it was, let's say Triton. And as soon as I bought it, it scrolled me all the way back up to the top. And then I had to go all the way back down to get the beta. And then I bought it and it scrolled me all the way to the top. And then all the way back down. You know, it was just really bad. Really bad. I'm so glad that's fixed. Uh, last couple things here. Now, if you don't have the weapon you need for preset, you'll be shown a pop-up 
with the missing preset parts. Sounds like more improvements on the weapons uh, presets and anything to help speed that process up is great. I approve. The maximum value of the sharpness effect in the graphic settings has been increased to 3.0. It was previously 2.0. I think if I'm not mistaken, let's double check on that. Uh, I play on 0.7. Yeah, now it goes up to three. I don't know what that looks like. If, if I had to take a guess, it looks like maybe you're permanently on painkiller effect. Maybe I'll do a video testing that out later, but for now, 0.7 it is. Okay, guys, that is the end of the list. We have some juicy, juicy changes in here that may be good or bad, depending on who you are, I suppose. You guys let me know in the comments what you think is a good change, what you think is a bad change, and why. I'd love to get the explanation as to why it will or won't work instead of just saying this is bad. Let's uh, try and be constructive with it. But I appreciate all of you guys hanging out. Like I said, this is a bit different than what we normally do. So if you stuck with me this long, then thank you so much. Just know that I stream on Twitch six days a week. So feel free to come on by, drop a follow, hang out, ask any questions you have. I'm always down to help you out. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.